Tori here. Today I thought it would be cool or a good idea to show you sort of how I'm organizing my supplies for December Daily. Um, just because I love having them organized so I can easily find things that I need. Um, hopefully this video won't take that long. I want to make it pretty quick. Um, last year one of the things that really helped me be successful with my December Daily was having all of my supplies easily within reach and easily organized. I actually take all the rest of my supplies and I put them away and all I have out is my December daily supplies and materials. So that makes my life 100% easier because everything is easily reachable and with limited supplies I'm more successful because I don't have to make as many decisions and this works so well for me. So um, I'm I have two boxes that I'm using for my December daily and I thought I would just quickly show them to you. I have this divided organizer and, as well as one other box and I'll show that to you in just a minute. So this container is actually one of the containers that I use for my um, Raskog and I believe it's called an Alex container and it comes from Ikea and it has all these div divisions in it which makes it so easy to organize things and keep everything where it needs to be. So I'll just sort of show you what I'm using and how I've organized it. In this first square here I have all of the Project Life cards. Um, I've included the 3x4s as well as the 4x6s and I just have them in there and I did organize these just because I'm a little OCD um, into like colors and styles and things like that but I won't really go into that. If you want to have some ideas of how to organize your Project Life cards, I do have a Workplace Wednesday video where I show you how I organize those. And then here are all the 3x4 cards and they're just neatly in there. Um, in the front, that way I can just easily go through them. And the nice thing is because they're like this, you can just quickly scroll through them. Scroll. Oh my goodness. You can quickly like just flip through them really easily and find what you're looking for. In this, this container here, um, and in those two containers, I have mostly embellishments. And, um, for example, here I have some bulkier embellishments, Tim Holtz mirrored stars, glitter brads, some chipboard. I have the paint that came in the main kit that so that I remember to use it, some more cork, and that's just in there. Those are some of the more bulky embellishments. And then in this pocket here, I have the tags, which I'm not going to show them to you because they're actually a surprise as well as some tags that I got in some other kits. I have some enamel dots, some sequins, some bling it all, bling it on dots, and some enamel shapes that are there. In this pocket back here, I have some other embellishments, typically like ones that are a little bigger. So I have my Mind's Eye Mixed Bag Ephemera, Market Street by My Mind's Eye Brands, Gold 7 Paper Hearts or Chipboard, some epoxy stickers, and then some of the embellishments which came in the December Daily Main Kit or the Jasmine Jones add-on, which are the two that I got from Allie Edwards' website. I have some things from last year, so I know that these things, those two came in last year's December Daily Kit. This came in a previous um, Studio Calico subscription kit. Got some other stickers, color theory, seven paper things, some epoxy. Is that what they're called? Yeah, epoxy um, circles. These are from Hello Forever. Just some other things that I've had in my stash for a little while. I love these, this freckled fawn, silver glitter stickers, some Dear Lizzie stickers, a ton of rhinestones, which look at those, they're so pretty. And these actually just came from the dollar store. And I have a Christmas sticker book. And then over here, also some other big items, which didn't really fit anywhere else. So I have some pockets. Um, 
that I might use. I have all of my tiny word stickers, which are just attached with a jump ring. I have all these um, Mombi, Me and My Big Ideas, like photo stickers, which I love, and there are some Christmas ones in here, and those don't really fit anywhere else. Another glassine bag. This is the, uh, what do you call this? It's not a mask. Screen. Screen. Sorry. Um, that I got in the December Daily Kit. Another pocket. Another pocket. And those just sort of stick in there. They're a little big, but they fit there. And this is an old Creative Memories photo storage thing. And I thought I could use this to store memorabilia while I'm waiting to scrap it. So I just stuck that in the side here. So that's the first box. And that will just sit right on my desk over here, um, easily accessible while I'm doing Project Life. Or not Project Life, while I'm doing December Daily. And then the, the other box is this one. It's just an old cardboard box where I've cut off the sides and I'm really just using it to store all the items in it just to keep everything easily accessible. So the nice thing about this is it's easy to get to. It's also really portable. So if I decide I wanna do December daily like downstairs at the dining room table or something, I can easily do that. So what is in here, I do have a couple different compartments. So I have this plastic container that I got at the dollar store, which I'll go through. I have the box that the main kit and my Jasmine Jones mini kit came in, and there are things in there. I have a old Project Life kit box that I have ribbon and masking tape and washi tape in. I have a bunch of alphas which I picked out which match my color theme for this year and they are just clipped together with this jump ring. Don't worry, I'll go through these a little more. I have two plastic pockets of things, a plastic bag with a couple more random things and then in the bottom I just had some other Christmas paper, specialty paper, vellum glitter paper, some acetate, and some pattern vellum paper. Just things that I thought I could maybe use up and I just stuck them in the bottom of there to remind myself. So now I'll go through what is in the bags and things like that. Um, in this bag I have the um, log book, which I definitely will be using this year because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to scrapbook December daily while it's December like I did last year because I'm going to be in Uganda. I have some just additional shapes. Those can probably go in the other container. Don't know why they were there. Probably because I was using them on a project. And then just some letter stickers that didn't have a hole in them. So that's that. And then in these two pockets, let's see, in this pocket I have lots of doilies, which I love doilies, so, and my December daily is definitely going to include doilies. And then I also have a bunch of, like, label stickers. These ones are from Kelly Perky. These are from Life Love Paper, Studio Calico, and I just have them all in there so that I can find them and use them. Some of them are blank, too. I think I got these ones at Winners. Which is a Canadian store. And then in this pocket I just have a bunch of alphas and letter stickers that are just small ones. And I didn't include all of the ones I have, I just included the ones that are like in the right colors. So this year I'm going with traditional colors, red and green. Um, I'm going with gold, silver, black and white, and of course a little bit of pink because there should be pink in every project. That's how I feel about it. And again, with the the thickers and the large letter stickers and things like that, I didn't choose everything. I just chose the ones that are in the color scheme. Just stick that down there. And then in this plastic box that I got at the dollar store, which I have done um, Workplace Wednesday videos on these. Um, 
so you can go check those out if you want to. I just grabbed some of the more dimensional embellishments. So in this middle one, I have the gold letters from that I had left over from last year, as well as the red ones, which came in the December Daily Main Kit this year. And those are all stuck there. I'm hoping that I can find some ways to use those because I've got a lot of them. In this pocket over here, I have some acetate sheets. I have some of the rubber word strips, banners, and I have this little jar which has some, what are these called? Resin shapes, flare, paper clips, they're all just stuck there. And then over here I have some of the other more dimensional items like the plastic resin shapes that came in the main kit some wood veneers that are large I have some of these script fonts which Jasmine Jones created for Studio Calico more wood veneer so those are all just there It's because they fit well here in this box I have some washi tape and I didn't grab all my washi tapes, just the ones that are like fit with the color scheme. So golds, blacks and whites, silvers, gold, pink. I grabbed some red and white twine, which totally reminds me of Christmas. And then I also had some cotton lace, which I thought would look really pretty. This one comes from Melissa Francis. And this one is just cotton lace, which I got at the dollar store. Paid a dollar and a quarter for this. Isn't that pretty? So I thought I could use those, so those are just tucked in to this box for easily accessibleness. And then the other two boxes just go here, and this is the main kit box and Jasmine Jones box. But I'm not actually using those for that. I'll show you what I am using them for, though. In this box, I am keeping all of the papers and specialty papers and acetate sheets and things like that and these papers come from mostly three sources they come from the December Daily Main Kit from Ally. they also come from the um, Jasmine Jones Mini Kit it's what some of these beautiful scripted ones are from I'll just show you those there's a ton of them and they're there so that I can easily find them and then these ones on the top are super special to me these were created by Feed Your Craft and Brandy Kincaid and Brandy sent these to me she's such a sweetheart and such a good friend so those are right there and they're actually on the top because they're my favorite and I definitely want to make sure that I use those so they're right there so I know that the green box has the papers that if I want a full sheet paper for anything, that's where I can find those. And then the last box, this is the one that was used for the main kit. This one is where I'm still storing all of my stamps. So I have two wood mounted stamps, which I really only, I don't really have wood mounted stamps. These are actually the only wood mounted stamps I own, but I love them and I've used them so many times that I don't get rid of them. These are both from Recollections. Oh no, this is Recollections and this is Hero Arts Crafts. And I got them at Michael's. And these are the different stamp sets I thought I might use. So let's see. Two of them. This one. And... Okay, I guess that's it. This one is the stamp set that I purchased this year. This is the Jasmine Jones stamp set for December Daily. This is the December Daily stamp set from last year. So I'm just pulled that one out. I had a couple other Christmas stamps. These ones are from Studio Calico. This is like a Life Love Paper for Studio Calico. It's like a snowman one and then a wreath and some Christmas trees. Those are from last year, so you can't get those anymore. And then these are non-Christmas related ones, but I thought they would be cute 
and would work well. So this one is by Life Love Paper for Studio Calico and it's got a bear. It says bear hug, let's get lost. And it's got all these like cute little winter outdoorsy kind of images. And I love these like evergreen trees. And it says pining for you, which is just adorable. So I thought I would use that. And then these two, this is two and this is four little stamps. And these all come from previous kits that I subscri subscribe to. And I really just like the images and the phrases. And I am traveling, so I did grab some like traveling themed ones. Like there's a world map here and meet me in the sunshine. So I just grabbed those and I stuck them in there just in case. I want to try to use stamps this year, so I figure if I stick them in there and have them nearby, it'll be easier for me to remember to use them. So this box has all the stamps. Other than that, that's it for me, and that's how I'm organizing my December daily supplies this year. I would love to see how you're organizing yours, so um, either take a photo or do a video and post a link below so that I can see it. And I just want to encourage you to check back tomorrow for tomorrow's December daily video. I'll see you then. Bye!